seven presidential aspirants under the platform of the All Progressive Congress have dismissed the names of the five presidential aspirants purportedly to President Muhammad Buhari to select a consensus candidate, stressing that they were not consulted before the governors arrived at the decision. The aggrieved aspirants in a tense statement issued in the early hours of Tuesday, shortly after a brief meeting in Abuja, described the move as shambolic and an already failed attempt to sideline other aspirants, particularly those from the Southeast and South-South. Describing the move as a joke taken too far, the presidential hopefuls disclosed that the move is in total absorbity as against the directive of President Muhammad Buhari. The aspirants, namely the Cross River State Governor Ben Ayode, the former Minister for States for Education, Emeka Wajuba, the former Minister for Science and Technology, Obonaya Ono, the former Governor Rochas Ukorocha, and businessman. 10 Jack Rich in a joint statement issued by Obuna, Obunaya Ono on their behalf, the stands themselves from the purported list. According to them, the motive of the governors in their personal selfish interests, not the South. They also clarified that no time president supports zoning of the presidency to the South, saying that though they were support of the presidency to the south especially the southeast neither them or other southeast presidential aspirants were consulted before any or such decision was taken urging nigerians to disregard the reports on a stress that neither the governor's forum nor northern governors had any moral or constitutional just jurisdiction to determine the political fate of the South. The aspirant queried the alleged selection of only one candidate from the Southeast, which had never produced Nigerian's president, and the picking three from the Southwest, a zone that has had 16 years at the presidency, and the inclusion of the one from the South South, a zone which has also produced a president for six years. Ono pointed out that the governors were merely acting based on gratifications being promised them by a certain Yoruba aspirant from the Southwest, who was also included in the list. Ono said the five of the Northern governors have been promised the office of vice president, which has suddenly prom prompted some of the governors to push for the zoning of the Progressive Congress presidential ticket to the South. According to him, governors are paying leave service to their reason for zoning the presidency to the South based on equity and justice. He said that if truly they met their ways, the Southeast must be the considered first for the presidency and its aspirants subsequently tabled before Buhari to select them. Rallying support for the national chairman, Adulai Adamu, the presidential aspirant, commended the decisions made so far by the party leadership. The aspirant also heard that the party leadership remains the official organ through which decisions are made and added to why urging all stakeholders to support the Adamu-led executive. The statement read, In the past few hours, we have been bombarded with calls and messages from my supporters and consigned Nigerians on a list of five presidential aspirants submitted to President Muhammad Buhari to choose from. As long as we are consigned, no list has been submitted to Mr. President. The more by the governors is considered a joke taken to the extreme with the aim of playing with the in intelligence of Nigerians, particularly us from the Southeast. Mr. President's directive is very simple. 
that all presidential aspirants, including, th including those from the North, should meet and harmonize in order to produce a single candidate. As it stands, we have not been consulted. As it stands, we have not been consulted or attended a meeting where it was agreed that such names be sent to Mr. President. In the so-called list, out of the five names, only one person selected from the Southeast, and we are talking about fairness and justice to the South. What the governors have done is a made panic in the peak. These are the same governors talking about equity, justice, and fairness, yet in a clandestine manner, purportedly satellite the Southeast. In the absence of any harmonized agreement, no list has been submitted to Mr. President. What they have done is just nothing but a, char a charity which is bound to fail. We also have it on good authority that the majority of these governors have been promised and also given various forms of gratifications in order to trust the process in favor of one aspirant and such grand plots with full for woofly. More so, the party led by Senator Adulai Adamu remains the official organ, the party through which directions taken by other stakeholders in, in the party will be communicated and acted upon in the absence of that any other more remains noy and avoid. Mm -hmm. We urge all well many Nigerians to disregard such information as we remain in the race. Hence, no consensus agreement has been reached among all, all the contestants. Okay, he said. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> this is not going to be easy, but let's see how this will play out. The governor should know that if they must talk about fairness and equity, they must talk with clear hands. If they must talk about zoning to the south, they should, they should know the zone is in the south that has not produced Nigerian president. This is the only way Nigeria will have peace. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.